Training for the real deal. Today, the Navy, the Coast Guard, and Sentara practiced on how they would respond in the event of a disaster at sea. Mike Gooding was there for the combined search and rescue exercise. Well, and Janet, it does not take too much of an imagination to think of how these participants would put this kind of training to use. They did, for real, last year. Now here's something you don't see every day, a Navy MH-60 Seahawk from Helicopter Sea Combat Squadron 2, making a landing at the Nightingale Pad at Centera Norfolk General Hospital. It was part of a joint Navy Coast Guard search and rescue exercise. They were simulating how they would react to a Navy helicopter plane crash in the Chesapeake Bay. Participants said the exercise went flawlessly. Getting practice talking between civilians and um, all the controlling agencies and then the Navy and the Coast Guard ships and aircraft, it's, it's really awesome to get to see what it'll be like for real. Of course, they did get to see it for real last May 26th when two Oceana-based F-A-18 Super Hornets were involved in a mid-air mishap 25 miles off Oregon Inlet. The four aviators were rescued and taken to Norfolk General. Rescue swimmer Justin Zivick said practice does make perfect. You gotta practice as much as you can so that you can make it perfect. Uh, you don't want to screw up when you get on scene. So uh, we do everything we can now to make sure we mitigate any of the mistakes we can make in the future. It's also outstanding practice for the civilian medical providers at the hospital. This is incredible training, not only for the Navy and Coast Guard, but for um, Sentara and their trauma team. Um, it allows us to talk ahead of time so when real life um, incidents happen, we can actually make a big difference. So how well did it go today? The Navy rescue swimmer gave it a 10 out of 10. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Suspect.